first they once were science fiction and now they are part of our everyday lives. Robots can not only be a big boost to productivity, they're particularly useful for repetitive, precise or even dangerous tasks. And they are turning up in unexpected places. Dorset is famous for many things, including now Britain's largest industrial robot, as Steve Harris explains. Poundbury has a bit of a reputation. It's a model town with attractive architecture. But because it's quite pretty, it can be easy to forget that industry actually happens here. But it does, because behind those unassuming walls, is where you'll find the world's strongest long-reach robots. This beast is a snappily named Fanuc M2000-1700L, Britain's largest industrial robot. If it wanted to, it could easily pick up and manoeuvre your family car. It's been assembled and tested here by the local company Loop Technology. What the main aerospace guys are trying to do is make their aircraft more fuel efficient, more sustainable. And to do that, you can have more efficient engines, you can have a more efficient uh, aerostructure. And this kit comes in on the aerostructure side by making wings more aerodynamic and more efficient with less drag. The overall fuel burn on the aircraft is lower. And so are these all kind of um, suckers, if you like? The yeah, so, so we create lift on the fabric by drawing air through the front face of these cups. Carbon fibre is a promising material for the commercial flight industry. It weighs less whilst being stronger than traditional materials. And a one kilogram weight saving on a plane can prevent 600 kilograms of carbon dioxide being produced. But they want to make these aircraft a phenomenal rate, somewhere between 80 and 100 planes a month. So that's a lot of material that's got to go into a mould very quickly. The way this robot can flex the carbon fibre so it's ready to be moulded into the right shape, offers a big advantage, speed. We can do in 35 seconds what it would take traditional techniques a couple of hours to do. Poundbury is considered almost like a, a Victorian film set in some ways, and certainly the South West is thought of as a tourist destination. But the South West has manufacturing output equivalent to that of somewhere like Greater Manchester. It's about 80 billion a year. It's massive. And so we don't have to live in a city. We, we have the luxury of living more or less in the countryside, you know, by the sea, on a beach. What's not to like? It's kind of, in a way, living the dream. The system that uses these two huge robots is currently being tested in Poundbury before being shipped to a North American aerospace customer later this year. Steve Harris, BBC South Today, Poundbury.